axial and orbital motions of the earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun. The earth is constantly in motion, revolving around the sun and rotating on its axis. In this module you will learn about the effects of the motions of the earth. The movement of the earth is one of its important characteristics. The earth rotates around its axis and orbits or moves around the sun in an elliptical path. The motion of the earth around its own axis is called axial motion and the motion of the earth around the sun is called orbital motion. Let us learn about the features of these two types of motions. The motion of the earth around its axis is called axial motion. This motion is formed due to rotation. Let's do an experiment to learn this motion. Take a thin flat wheel and insert a spike through its center. Spin the wheel by turning the spike. The wheel will start spinning with the spike as its axis. Then take a ball and spin it. However, the ball spins with no spike in it. Similarly, the earth spins like a ball around its own axis, which is an imaginary line passing through the north and south poles. The axis is tilted at an angle of 23 degrees, 30 minutes. The spinning motion of the earth is called rotation. The earth rotates in a counterclockwise direction. It takes 24 hours for the earth to complete one axial motion. The axial motion has different effects. It includes the creation of an axis. The earth bulges in the equatorial regions. Axial motion causes the occurrence of day and night. It also influences changes in the ocean currents and direction of the winds. The motion of the earth around the sun is called revolution. The path that the earth takes while revolving round the sun is called the orbit. The orbit is elliptical or oval shaped path. The ellipse has two centers. Let's see how the earth's orbit is drawn. Fix two pins on a paper. Tie the two ends of the string together around the pins. Draw a line with a pencil by keeping it in the loop of the string. An ellipse shape is drawn on the paper when the pencil comes back to the original position. The distance between the earth and the sun changes along the path as the earth's orbit is elliptical. The earth is said to be in perihelion position when it is nearest to the sun. On the other hand, the earth is said to be in aphelion position when it is farthest from the sun. The climate of the earth is not affected as the difference between the two positions is small. The plane of the earth's orbit is the flat disk shaped space connecting the center of the sun and the earth. Let's do an experiment to understand the plane of the earth. Take a circular cutout of a cardboard that looks like a circle from top view. Then raise and hold the cutout straight at eye level. You will only see its edge as a straight line. You cannot see the entire surface as it is limited in the line of sight. When the surface appears as a straight line in a side view, all the points in that surface are at the same level. Such a surface is called a plane. Similarly, the Earth's orbit appears as a straight line in a side view. This imaginary surface is called the plane of the Earth's orbit. The Earth moves around the Sun 
as the sun is within the orbital plane. The Earth's axis makes an angle of 66 degrees, 30 minutes, with the plane. This implies that the axis is inclined at an angle of 23 degrees, 30 minutes, from its upright position. The orbital motion of the Earth has two main effects. It takes a year for the Earth to revolve around the Sun. Therefore, time can be measured in years. Seasons are a result of the combined effect of the inclination of the Earth's axis and the orbital motion or revolution of the Earth. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on axial and orbital motions of the Earth.